Hey guys, what's going on? Tight Games here for episode number five, I believe. Yes, five of the four pillars survival. Now, last episode we visited the fourth and final pillar, which was that pillar. First episode we went to this pillar. The second episode we went to the iron pillar, that one, then that one, then this one, or that one. Sorry, that one. So now we have this big, like, kind of four thing. I know what you're gonna call it. And for this episode, as you see, I started here, and I'm just trying to get to the bottom, see if there's anything in the chest, like in a chest or something, maybe, and I'm hoping that there is, there's more chest, because I haven't found any other water yet, and I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm like, I'm not sure if, if you can get water or whatever, more water, I mean, like, because I only have one bucket, and I want to make it into a water source, but I don't know if that's possible or not, um, and I would like it to be possible, but again, oh my god, so much Dirt. Maybe you should go up and get a stone shovel. Might like make life easier, but I'm also again don't really want to go too fast because I'm scared I'll lose dirt. I mean, I guess there's a lot of dirt, but still, it's pretty crucial to have a lot of dirt in this series, especially when you want to go farming later on for like lots of stuff. You need dirt to farm, but I I don't know. I mean, okay. I think probably the series. You know what I am holding just. I guess in the series you probably could go to the Nether, take well. That's what the guy did. In fact, I know I know he did this. The guy built through to the Nether. I don't know how he got the diamonds to do it. Probably had some sort of like trading system to trade with villagers. But where you get to see there goes a piece of dirt. Um, where you get. The diamonds to get through, and then you would you all you. Oh no! What am I talking about? Uh oh. So you can get the diamonds, and then once you get the diamonds, you can get another nether portal, and then really well, you'd have to do really. Unless he's completely taken out this entire. Because. I was playing for 1.10. This map was made in like. 1.6, like I said in the first episode. Um, but. It's either way. It's maybe one point six. The one point ten maps is actually a super flat now. It's I think it's a fifty by fifty or twenty five by twenty five stone area with one cobblestone in the middle, and so you can now make like an awesome skyblock survival with probably a bunch of new ones coming out and stuff. Where it's the only thing in the entire world. Where that's where I'm wondering like, is this the only thing in the entire world? Or is there there's a bye, my love. Could you could you um could you get like I just realized I don't have to do this. I'm gonna go back up and stop building the staircase. But first, I'm actually gonna finish this off. And get another get a full stack of this. In fact, it's gonna be easy if I don't. Alright, well I got more than a second of but um Oh my god. Oh my god. I just oh well this is it's not gonna matter even I was thinking to myself that maybe I could place a piece of dirt down but that's not gonna work because I'm just gonna die but I'll try it anyway yeah no way oh that's so frustrating that's the other reason I don't need to build that because it's gonna make it really frustrating. Ooh, this way. Look at that, all that dirt that I made. I was so close to the bottom as well. It's not even funny how close I was to the bottom. It actually looks really cool though. There's two pieces. F3 here is. Deep ocean. Alright, this looks pretty deep, deep ocean. To the ocean. Why I suck at singing. Ra ra ra. Alright, I think there's a chest down here. No chest. Alright. That's 
right. Hair. Not a jet. I swear though, how are you getting into the water source? There's a bat. There's some squid. Actually, this is an interesting place to put squid because if I need squid, no, <laughs> no. Use the deep ocean and fill the hole in the spawn in the ocean biome. Even if you have water, you have to find the ocean biome itself. Spawn squid. Um, which is what I did do. I found the deep ocean accidentally. There should be squid funny. Ah, oh, there'll be some insects. Oh my god. I did it then. I guess I probably could have could have tried to do slash keep inventory true and whatever, but I don't know. That's pretty risky. I actually had a pretty funny thing with that, so I was with my friend. Um and he was we we fell into the void. And what he kept trying to do, what he tried to do is he would try to kill himself. No! No! Yeah, he tried to kill, he tried to kill, he tried to kill himself when we were doing the platform map that we created. Just faster this way because he was like, he was just like, well, it's faster this way, well, then, oh, that's okay. He's like, you know, it's faster this way. Like, I, if we kill ourselves, we'd be like three seconds faster or whatever, and you really have to respond. Anyways, he was just doing the next he did slash up, which is whatever last command you did. So, I'll show you. So, no. Fudge off. Actually, give me the iron sword. That would be legit. Oh my god. Oh, the bucket. The bucket. The bucket. The bucket. The bucket. Oh, what are the two What are the two Um. Um. What? What? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. My. Gosh. All right, well, I'm screwed, but, good thing about this, I'm gonna... All right, I have to do this to get my water bucket back. I'm sorry if you think this is cheating. I'm actually gonna do this in, while you guys are watching, because I want to show you what I do do. Haha, <laughs> I said do do. Because that's not fair. I, well, I mean, it's not fair. It's not fair. I can't do it the rest of the series. Though. All right. Um. You butt pieces. All right. But anyways, back to my story. Before I die, my friend said it was like he was just trying to do slash so he slash up game mode X. Like that's the next command or whatever. It was. He did that thinking the next command he had done last command he done was kill, but it was actually set spawn point. We had just got a new spawn point. Anyway, new spawn point. He's okay, so uh, I'm gonna hit you this way, ready for this? Bam, 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 bam. Alright. Alright, just get off the edge. Thank you. No, we didn't actually don't. No. Um, but he just like did the next command, which was actually set spawn point. So in the void, he set their spawn point. So he then has to go online, and he's like trying to like double tap to fly up, but he never does it because he's too low and whatever. And he manages to set a command where we have infinite life, like it's always healing us. Um, you probably know the command if you're. I don't know the command, but some of you will know it. And he like immediately does that, and so then. We go down like 2,000 blocks, and then he has to TP us up like 2,000 blocks, and maybe 2,000. Anyways, I had to get up. It took like half an hour for us to Alright, you wanna fight me? Come at me. Bam. 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 What? You're looking for shoes? That's. So, fish no. Get out of my house. Um. So it was, but it took half an hour for him to figure out what he done, and so we finally figured out. And then he did it again later. But that, thankfully, that time we knew what we were doing, and he was just like, "All right, there you go. Do that command, and we're fine." 
but you know, life lesson don't use commands in survival. It's dumb, you shouldn't do it. But in cases or life decides to, to F you the ass, well, hey, I got some seeds. I just got two flowers. How lovely. I love flowers. They're so annoying in Minecraft. Alright. Give me that seed. That's lovely. I just knocked my sapling down. Could you imagine if that was just like, you're, just, you're, you're walking around one time and you're like, you're just punching grass and you get seeds to eat and you just actually punch down a tree like, Oops, I accidentally punched down a tree. No? No? Oh, alright. Alrighty then. Take one of those. I'm gonna make an iron thing because. Thing, I'm a robber of things. Are you kidding me? Because things. Alright, I'm about to make a iron hoe because I am. The richest. And the richest gets an iron home. Alright. I want to figure out a way. I'm trying to think if you could put like a water source at the very end here and have it come up and like still create a, like some sort of like a really, 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 really long like water and lava. Okay, we're going to do it because like I said, I'm gonna cheat it in either way. I'm not gonna. No, that's not what I said. I said I'm gonna cheat it in if it's needed. Um. All right. So. All right. So it's still flowing that way because of the property of it. I'm gonna take that away. All right. So. All right. So that is what happens, and let's see what happens when I do this. Alright, that seems fine, seems to work fine, and the range of it is 8 blocks, so we should have this at 7 blocks, with it. and currently we have it at 4, 5, I believe, yeah. that works too fine, I guess, another one, what's that now? Alright, so if we push Alright, so I'm gonna take this three I go silent when I'm building I have no Alright, so if I put water here Nope Again, nope Alright, so the water goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we can go one more block, right? That should Logically makes sense, but I use the word logically so it won't make sense. All right, so that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna mine a few blocks just to make sure I'm not getting obsidian. Oh, I got a test. I think I have no clue. Like a new lab, my phone on. Nope, not a test message. Get a game alert from Fallout 4. Just joking, not Fallout 4. Fallout. Thing on your phone, weird. All right, tree grew. Anyways, I'm gonna take some of that dirt and that dirt and a lot. Of, I should have way more dirt than I do, but that's not a problem because it's not. And I'm just, you know what? It's not even a problem. Actually, that's not a problem. Alright, I wasted some of the dirt doing this one. Doing it the way I was trying to. But, it's alright. Uh, so alright, so then, technically, I can make the farm go way farther this way, too. You can make the farm go out this way. Yeah. Because the water keeps going this way. And if the light is going to say, it means that we can. All 
Alright, so that means this. That's not what I meant to do. But technically that does mean I can do that. Alright, so I get all those, put that there, chuck on this tree, it happened to grow near the end of the episode, and then I'll plant the seeds that I have. I think I actually don't even have the seeds that I have accounted for, but anyway. Um, that's what we're gonna end the episode today. Uh, me making this farm and me dying a bunch and losing the water bucket and making new advances in technology. Right. Alrighty. Um, maybe that's the challenge though. Maybe you can only have one, like, water bucket. Who knows? Um, also pumpkin seeds and a melon seed. Sorry about those ones. Those are also things I can now plant. Alright. So I can plant my melon seed and I can also plant my um, can we see that move? Sapling down one, and for the rest of this, maybe I should not have the sapling falling down there. All right, whatever. That's cool. That's fine. No, that's good. Um, so there's all the seeds growing. Alright, so I see all these saplings falling on the ground, so I'm going to collect them. Like I said, it's going to be the end of the episode. I said about three hours ago, though. Not actually. I'm going to do that. I need to put my hand out there. Alright. Um, doesn't grow as fast on dirt. I'm going to have to Alright, so we're going to the calculator. Alright, that works. That's the end of it for the you guys watching. See you guys next time.